Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how the Strength Bulma Youth Unit does in the Cell Max Super Activation event in DBZ Dokken Battle. So we have Bulma here and Bulma is an incredibly good unit but I have to place my usual disclaimer for the Super Activation Cell Max event as most of you will know. Now the Super Activation Cell Max event is an incredibly difficult event that is best taken on with units that have Guard, Evasion, Damage Reduction or a combination of all three, or at least two of them. Most times units that are in type will have a natural advantage against Cell Max and the way the Cell Max event is constructed means that the first two phases are not traditionally difficult although they are relatively challenging and this means units tend to struggle to stack or to build up defensive stacks as the first two phases don't necessarily have enough health to facilitate that stacking process. So it's quite a unique event and conquering it requires pretty strong sets of units overall. I think for me personally the Sonax event is quite a challenging event but it's also an event that does have its significant components. Firstly, of course, if you take a look at the boost units like the Piccolo and the Gohan, it obviously tends to mean that there are, how can I say, units that people struggle with using uh, or that have a natural inherent bonus against the event. Now, as well, also considerably, at least from my side, uh, I do tend to find that Belma does a pretty good job. She has guard, which obviously helps her out in the first seven turns. She has damage reduction, which is minus seven percent per turn, which tends to help her as well. She also has her two turn support ability, which helps the rest of her rotation, which is pretty good. And in general, she just has a very strong uh, kind of facilitation for a lot of, you know, things basically. The big thing about good old Bomber is that she has quite a sizable amount of versatility to provide to all the rotations. So Bomber is just in general an incredibly strong unit that has a very good preface for performance. She supports the rest of her rotation, she has guard, she raises defense on her super attack and she can do good damage. Not to mention if you get to the seventh turn you have an incredibly useful active skill that you can use to basically heal yourself up, do tremendous damage, and she'll tank fantastically afterwards. So overall, she's pretty good. I think she provides just the right amount of stuff to make her not only a great unit for the Cell Max event, but just for any event in general. But the one thing I will say, uh, personally speaking, I find Boma to be very very good. I think she's just an incredibly top tier unit. I think she does everything you want a top tier support unit to be. She's defensively sound, she has very solid offense and on top of that she also has, well quite frankly, the most versatility and utility I think any of the units have. I think overall she just has absolutely everything you might consider using for her as a unit. She just looks incredibly solid. And quite frankly, I find her to be unbelievably good in so many different situations, not only for the Cell Max event, but just for basically any of these events at all. So, Belma, is she good? Well, she's good, not only for the Cell Max event, but she's just good in general for any event. But you're going to see her tank really well against the Cell Max Super and you're going to see us cut across to it now because that setup there we were going to get knocked out. So yeah, there we go. But basically, as you can see, Bomber is looking pretty solid. We're going to get quite a few orbs with her. We have no defensive support on the rotation and right now she's just looking pretty solid. As she fires off her super attack, she's going to do some pretty good defense or offense because it's going to crit. And because we also have the B-Pan active skill, she's looking pretty solid as well. 
Something pretty interesting is that Belma's 18 key activates the crit chance for all of her attacks. So if you get her 18 key, your 12 key will then also have a chance to crit as well, which is pretty interesting. You can see her tanking the super here now, 180k only. This is incredibly good, and yeah, Belma just Belma is just really good. Uh, it's honestly just very difficult to say, but. I don't really see a weakness in her as a unit. I think overall she's just incredibly good and for me I just find her to be very very solid. Just an incredibly good unit that just performs really really well. So from my side I don't think there's anything else really the same. I think she's done a fantastic job and if you're interested in how well she does in the Cell Max event and can she help you beat it, she definitely can. Her DP Saga teams and Earthbred Fighters teams are also very strong, so you have a very good chance of succeeding if you have her. But that's going to be it from me. See you guys next time. Bye.